Good morning guys and welcome back to another edition of TCW TV. Now, I'm not going to lie, I'm a tad bit ropey today. Uh, last night was the first night that all the bars and restaurants had reopened. So we had a few drinks, we met up with some friends and we sat inside a bar. Uh, we didn't have to sit outside because the restrictions have changed um, and it was an amazing night. So fingers crossed that's the last of the lockdowns that we'll see now and hopefully we can all start getting back to some normality. On top of that, we've got some exciting news. We're picking up the Defender today. Um, this has been a long drawn out process. I think we ordered the car over a year ago now, but due to COVID restrictions, um, container ships getting stuck, and then top it, top it off with a high demand for the Defender, it's been a long time coming. But it's here today. Um, not all the parts are actually on the car, so they've said to me that we can put them on at a later date, so we're still waiting for some parts to come in. Um, but they've got the car ready to pick up today, so let's get down to Williams Manchester, let's go and have a look at it, and let's drive it away. So we're down here at Williams Manchester. The guys have really looked after us, as they always do. Um, great service. Uh, we signed all the paperwork and the Defender is now officially ours. Let's take a quick look at it. So here's the new truck, looking amazing. Uh, we'll just do a quick run around now and then we'll do a little bit more of an in-depth review at a later date. So we got this with um, the Explorer packs so that comes with the roof rack, the side ladders, the side box and the steps, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so it gives it that for me, it just gives it a little bit more aggressive look. We got it in Iger Grey with the um, the PPF wrap on it, so it gives it a satin effect, which I think looks great. Uh, what, else, what else have we got? We've got the side steps. Again, I think it just, as well as being practical, being a short ass, it helps you get in. Um, also looks very good as well. We've got the snorkel for all that wading that we're going to do in Manchester. Um, I'm sure you got used loads. And then we went for the classic steelies. Um, I really like these. The white doesn't match the current colour of the car, so we're going to be taking this straight to the paint shop and we're going to get these powder coated um, matte black um, and they're on the off-road tyres as well. At, some, at a later date we'll be changing them for some bigger off-road tyres but for now I think they'll look great if they're painted. There's Adele. Hi hey Adele. B-roll queen. Let's go around to the front. I just think it's got a real aggressive stance to it and I just think it looks really cool and really slick. We've got the black detailing so we've got everything blacked out. I think that was originally grey, so I guess it's been done as well. This bit down here, we are considering getting this um, painted black. We're not sure yet. I think at the moment it looks like it's got a nice contrast with everything else. Let me know what you guys think. Um, so either stay this colour or do we change this to a maybe a matte black or a gloss black to match maybe the, the bits around there and obviously the bits in the centre as well. Um, what else have we got? Sorry, Adele. Let's go inside. So, as I said before, this is the commercial vehicle. Um, so, in the commercial vehicle, you've got the, the separator there to the back. And then you've got all the mod cons in here. And again, we'll be doing a, a review, a proper review at a later date. Um, but this is far from what the old commercial vehicle was. Um, a lot more luxurious. We did get a whole load of extras on this um, that maybe other people in the commercial world wouldn't get, um, but it's just going to make the day-to-day -day living with this a lot easier. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. It looks great. We'll get them wheels done today. Um, we're also waiting for some extra bits. We're waiting for the side box. That's why there's holes here. Um, the guys said they'll be able to put them on by the end of this week, and we'll do a little bit more review from there. But it looks great. Let's take it for a drive.
So that's it for another day. We've now got the Defender. I'm very excited. I'm very happy with it. It looks great. And I'm more excited about what we're actually going to be doing it. So we've got some off-road days planned. Uh, we're also going to be going to Scotland. And we're also looking at potentially maybe even doing another Europe trip. So make sure that you guys like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.